Welcome, you like the pros members and everyone else. Today we're doing a music reading song of Johnny Cash's I Walked the Line. Let me play it for you and then we'll talk about it. Wong. Something like that. <laughs> All right, so welcome. I'm Terry Carter, and this is our daily ukulele lesson. And don't forget that all the stuff that you're seeing here, I post up on the ukuletepros.com site under the master class. So this one, even though I have this the notation on the screen, would be good to have the actual printout of the entire song. I guess I could have used that printout the first time. But this is a Johnny Cash song, and I'm feeling very Johnny Cash because I just started a history of rock and roll class up here in LA at the uh, college I work at. And we're talking about Elvis and, and all the rockabilly, Carl Perkins and Ricky Nelson and, so, and Johnny Cash. So I was like trying to find something to do, and I said, let's do a reading song, but instead of teaching you how to like strum the song, I want to do a reading song. So don't forget we are live, so feel free to leave a question, say hi, share it, like it, all the above, I appreciate it, and I'm thankful that you're here. Now, there's something interesting about this particular song. If you look at the time signature, it's in cut time. And I don't know how familiar we are with cut time, but I'm going to try to help you through it. So normally we're reading stuff in 4-4 four, four time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Right, just 4-4. Four, four. But a lot of times when a song is fairly fast, instead of using 4-4, four, four, they're going to use cut time because it allows you to play faster tempos, it allows the music to look not so complicated, and basically what cut time is, is 2-2. Two, two. So instead of 4-4, four, four, which is four quarter notes per measure, 2-2, two, two, or cut time, is two half notes per measure. And so, before we get to this, let me just play what's on the screen here. Now that's in cut time. And the way I'm gonna count that is this. One, two, one, and two, and one, two, one, and two, and one, two. Okay, I'm gonna talk more about that in a second. But if I did this in four, four time, it would look like this. One, two, three. Notice we have more eighth notes here, and it looks more complicated than it is. When we go to cut time, it's a lot simpler looking, but each value of the note gets slightly different rhythms than you might think. So, let's just dive right into it. First of all, you gotta notice we're in the key of, where's my thing? We're in the key of F major, that one flat, B flat, so it's F major scale. Um, and we're going to be playing in open position, so F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. So F, second string, first fret, G, third fret, open A, B flat, right there on the first string, first fret, C, third fret, D, fifth fret, E, seventh fret, and F. That's it, one flat. So notice that, and then a cut time, so two four, so two half notes per measure. But if you look at these first notes now, notice there are three quarter notes. Remember, a half note is worth two quarter notes. So quarter notes in cut time, they act as eighth notes. But remember, our counting in cut time is this, one and two, and one 
and two, and one, and two, and. So in four, four time, the quarter note is worth one beat. But in cut time or two, two time, the quarter note is worth half a beat. So they almost, they act as eighth notes do in four, four time, but now they're quarter notes. So the way we play this first three notes, which is F here, on the second uh, string, first fret, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and. And that's the first three notes to F. One, and two, and one, and two, and. All right, so what I wanna do, I just wanna show you that. Before I show you the rest of it, let's sight read this. What I'll do is I'll, I'll flip to the different parts on the screen as we get to them. Notice I left the last measure, where is it? I left the last measure whole note so I have time to switch. Okay, this is gonna be the slow backing track. This is 65, this is I walk the line. We're playing the melody, how awesome is that? Okay, I'm gonna catch you in. These are half notes, so one, two, one. One and two and one two one and two and one two one. One two one. One two one. One two one two. Off. Cool melody. Johnny Cash actually wrote this particular song. All right, so let's go back. Let me, let's, let's show you what's going on here. Um, you could use your ear to figure this out, but I want you to sight read. I want you to do this music reading. Okay, so we got, as I mentioned, F here, and one and two and one. Remember that cut time, that's how we're counting. And so this is gonna come in, the first F on the and of one. So one and two and one, da, da, da. So one and two and. Now notice measure two here. We got two G half notes. And remember in cut time, those half notes act as one beat. So it's G, 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 second string, third fret. So the first two measures, actually the first measure is really a pickup, so it's not a full measure, but let's just say the first two measures. One, two, one, and two, and one, and two. Now measure three here. No, they're quarter notes. Remember, in cut time, though, they act as eighth notes, so it's one and two and one and two. One and two and one and two. Those are the last two measures, so measures three and four. So what it is is G, B flat, first string, first fret, open A, back to G, which is second string, third fret, and then we got a whole note but remember, in cut time, a whole note gets two beats. A whole note gets four beats in four, four time, but in cut time, it only gets two beats. And then there's also a tie. Okay, so let's try what's on the screen here. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Okay, that's it. Let's try just that part with the backing track. So I'll stop the backing track when we get to that part. But nice and slow, I'll count you in. Okay, listen up. One and two and one. One, two. All right, so that's the first part. Check this out now. We go on, this next measure here, we got a tie, the first beat is tied, and then we have Three more quarter notes. Remember, those act as eighth notes, so it's going to be one and two and, and it's just F again, one and two and, and then G again, half note, so one, two, and then this measure is the same. G, B flat, A, G, and F. So it's actually identical, right? Nothing has changed for this. So let's play what's on the screen. One. And, two, and you don't play this first note because it's, there's a tie. You see that little tie connector there? So one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, one, and two, and one, two. Okay, so this is a first. 
part, sounds like the first half of the song, and then this note here should be tied. So that first note, there should be a tie there. So we don't play this note. So we're going to start here again on this F, which is the and of one. So one and two. Let me play this on the screen first. Totally new part here. So start again on the and of one with the F. So one and, but now we go right to a G and then we go to an A and then we have a measure of B flat, remember B flat because of the key signature, right? Key signature, B flat, so first fret, first string. One and two and, and now here's a little stretch. We're looking right here now, measures three of this, what's on the screen. B flat, I gotta reach out with my pinky to D, first string, fifth fret, back to C, third fret, Back to B flat, first fret, and then open A. So let's play this right here, starting right here on this measure three. One, two, and one, and that's a, it's too fast, I didn't want that fast. One, and two, and one, and two, and one, two, and. All right, so let's, let's try this. What's on the screen? Remember, we don't play this first note because that should be tied. So we're starting right here on the and of one, right there. One and two and one. And two and one and two and one and two and. All right, and then. Right, here's a melody. So here's the very last part. So I think. Yeah, this tie didn't come through either. That was my fault. So again, this first note should be tied. So we're not playing that. So we're going to start right here on the and of one with this F. And it's just da, 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 da. We go down low. So F on the and of one. So one and open E, two and D, third string, second fret, and then open C for two beats and then it's tied to a quarter note. Okay? So starting from the top of what we see on the screen, one and two and one. One, two, one. Two, one. All right, so now we're looking here. We just finished here, so now we're looking here. And that comes in on the and of one again and that's just G, G, F, two, open E and and then the last two measures F and it's tied over okay so here we go let's play this on the screen again not playing this first note so we're coming on and a one 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 and two and one and two and one and two and one two one more time one and two and one So that's the whole song. Let's try it. And then I'm going to check in with my peeps and see who's here with me. No backing track. We have a slow and a fast backing track. So here we go. One and two and one. Oh, by the way, this is from the top. And we got to pick up here, right here, on an F. One and two and one. And two and one. two. One. One, two, uh, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. Mm, one. All right. All right, I'm going to check in here and see if, uh, if anyone's with me today on this Thursday afternoon, and there I am. Okay, hey, good day to you, Mark. So, a couple of things before, uh, before we move on. Two, last night here in LA at City Hall, they did a big Batman uh, symbol shot into the sky in honor of Adam West, so that's kind of cool. Um, 
Also, being Thursday, my last day of summer school for the week, and I get to head back home to my family. So I'm very excited to see my family. Again, it's been since Sunday night. So good day all the way around. So what I want to do now is, uh, oh, my wife just checked in. She says, all the peeps are here. Sonny and Kat are joining us too, and they love Johnny Cash. How could you not love Johnny Cash? Okay, what I want to do is I want to play now, go back to the top, and I want to play this with the slow backing track, and I'm going to do my best getting those things up there. So here we go. I'll count you in. Remember, we come in on an and of one. So here we go. So it's one, two, one. One, two, one. do on that I know this cut counting and cut time and understanding the rhythms may be slightly different um, plus just so you know I loaded the wrong document up last night so I changed it to cut time so those that grabbed it on the master class I reloaded up the new file that shows the cut time up on there but that's the only thing that's changed is just the time signature all right now what I want to do is I want to do this with the fast backing track because one, it sounds cool. Two, shout out to my boy Pear who I sent him what I wanted for this backing track at like 10 this morning and he got it to me in time for our lesson. So shout out to him. I'm going to go see him for lunch right after our video here. Okay, I'm going to try it now with the fast backing track. This is uh, 105 but remember this is cut time, so it's, it's slightly different. So here we go. I'll count you in. So one, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. key of F, so the last chord would be F. Man, you made me a workout trying this. That's kind of fast, but hopefully you got the melody in your head. We're going to try it one more time. I don't know what that was. One more time. All right, here we go. Little Johnny Cash for you on this Thursday afternoon. One, two, one. That's our lesson today, a little Johnny Cash music reading on the Thursday. Thank you for being here. I uh, just want to uh, let you know one more time about my pre-launch of the 23 Ultimate Chord Progressions, which is available right now, $30 off. Um, and so take advantage of that. And you can grab that at youcollectthepros.com under the first thing you see the 23 ultimate chord progressions uh, for ukulele. So anyway, that's going to do it uh, for our lesson today. Let's just go ahead and play it one last time. I'm not going to uh, worry about the music. Let's just play it, have a good time, and I will see you in our next lesson. Here we go. One, two, uh.